let's react to the only world record that cannot be broken July 20th it's July 20th, 1984. 1984 oh, okay, no. I'm repeating this guy <laughs> let's, let's start again it's July 20th of 1984. Indeed it On is. On a warm summer day in Berlin, Germany, one athlete would set a world record that was so unbelievable that the mm-hmm. actual rules in this event would forever change. What? In the men's javelin, Uwe Hohn from Germany Jam- set an unprecedented world record, throwing the javelin 104.80 meters, breaking the previous world Fuck record enough. by just over 5 meters. Which translates to just over 16 feet. This Breaking a world record by 5 meters. Track and field. Because that is insane. compared to the previous world record, this throw represented a massive improvement of 4.9%, which to this day places this moment as the second greatest world record improvement second. in any event in history, only falling behind the great Bob Beeman's long jump from the 1968 Olympic Games. Oh. To say that this throw was Fucking unparalleled up. would still then be a Why couldn't that be not broken? A perfect angle of release, and one of the fastest follow-up that you'll ever see in any throwing discipline, Holmes' form in this moment was unmatched, and even in the eyes of the announcers at the time, they already understood that this world record just might stand forever. Here's a record that may never be broken. Uwe Hohn of East Germany shatters American Tom Pachanov's world record by over 16 feet. 16 feet at the Olympics. That is... Imagine breaking a world record and like not just breaking, shattering it. Pure athletics perfection. And we fast forward some 38 years later, this world record still stands. However, well, I fucking hope so. For a rather I mean, considering the entire point is it cannot be broken. Reason, which is much different from any other world record throughout track and field history. Hmm. Soon after Hone's throw oh. back in 1984, the actual javelin instrument itself changed in overall form. A decision what? largely influenced by Hone's world record that nearly exceeded the throwing area. <laughs> Now, contrary to popular belief, Hohn's throw wasn't the only reason why this change was implemented. Even before this amazing I, world record yeah. was achieved, track and field's governing body had already been discussing moving the javelin's center of mass forward by four centimeters. There's going to be some changes in this event. The javelin Does that tend to hinder it? Over the last few years. First, a couple of years ago, Tom Petronov of the United States threw at 327 feet. And last year, Han from East Germany threw over 340 feet. Well, the IAAF is afraid they're going to throw it right out of the stadium, so they decided to change the javelin. What? Now, this is the old javelin. New ones come out in April. But what they've done Why? is they've actually moved the weight forward in the javelin, and they've made the tail thicker, so it won't go as far. These changes but, had been a part of regular discussion even before this. Surely you could just, you know, make play in bigger stadiums. 100 meter plus world Or just I can throw from back. What? However, after this world record, the process of change was quickly implemented in a practice. Why would you change the jazz? Why would you make it short? A landmark moment in track and field history. Given the context of this historic rule change, Surely Holmes' world record of one world records go higher and higher. Meters literally will never be broken. And since this throw back in 1984, the closest that any athlete really has gotten fair. with the new version of the javelin was Jan Jalezny's legendary record of 98.48 meters, which he threw back on Isn't May 25th like 10 of meters behind the Heading into the 1984 Olympics, oh, no, Hone was the overwhelming favorite to take the gold medal. But given that yeah. East Germany unfortunately boycotted these 1984 Los Angeles games, oh, okay. he was never able to compete for an Olympic gold medal. Wait, what? This was quite the unfortunate circumstance for this javelin legend. But there was at least some consolation during the 1984 season, as he won the gold medal in the Friendship Games with a throw of 90. Fucking what? Friendship Games? <laughs> ah yes, the perfect alternative to the Olympics. Four meters, a throw that was almost 10 meters further than the eventual winner from the 1984 Olympics. Jeez. 
For many around the world, he's fucking good, man. meter victory was the equivalent of an Olympic gold medal placement, making this 1984 season one of the greatest ever for any athlete. Not just because he shattered the world record and literally changed the rules in this event, but also because he maintained a completely undefeated record, throwing over good. 90 meters for each and every competition that he entered. Fucking hell. Cone's dominance in the javelin has only since that been matched by the new world record holder, Jan Gillespie. And even though it seemed like Hone would go on to dominate this event for well over a decade, his career abruptly ended in 1986 after mm. several setbacks due to unfortunate injury. Ah. Since becoming the only man in history well, to throw track. the spear beyond 100 meters, Hone has since become a javelin coach, and just like his previous well, of competition, he has also seen coach. worldwide success in this endeavor as well, as his own athlete Niraj Chopra Won oh. the Olympic gold medal in this event in the 2020 oh, Tokyo Olympics, winning the javelin with a throw of 87.58 meters, which made him the first and yep. only Indian athlete in history to win an Olympic gold medal in track and field. Throughout yeah. the deep history of track and field, many world records have shifted the landscape of their respective events. However, none have quite had the effect as Yuve holds world record. They literally had enough the fucking Olympics for this guy. Thanks for watching everyone. Thank you as always. Until next time. Peace.